mostly. So, as you can see, there's water down there. Wonderful. Let's spawn a car down there, because this was the problem. That could not access vehicles underwater. Okay. Uh, so we need to cross here, off-road hatchback, quick, and it's underwater. Okay, definitely underwater. And we'll just uh, And it's, I think it's below depth. Oh yes, it's uh, definitely below depth. Um, definitely below 1.5 litres underwater. Let's come back out of there before I drown. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Let's bring up ESP. Um, ESP, ESP. We want to look for... Transport, uh, yes, Tombstone Survivor. Um, I'll, uh, yeah, it's basically you know what uh, the object is greater than you think. For instance, um, let's have a look. Go class, open it on. Do we see anything underwater? No, we don't. That's not there, we go. Bit of lag there. There we are. Off-road hatchback. Okay, so right. we've got um, here. It says show, show class name. Pick show class name. Pick everything, and then eventually, a bit of a delay there, everything will show up. So using that information, you can actually add the name of the item. Off-road hatch back. Off-road hatchback. Off road hatchback. Use OK. Remove this, clear this. Now we've got. Oh, that, why, did, why did that all show up? OK, that's fine. Pick this box and only off road hatchback can show. Is it showing? Yeah. There we go. That's happy. Nothing else is showing, just the offer and hatchback. Just to prove this is working and it's not a uh, transport, would do. We'll spawn. Let's spawn a different bit. Yeah. Uh, I can spawn a. Um, let's put a Gunter in the water. There we go. And now we wait. For some reason, there's actually a delay now uh, with the ESP. Move class things. There, there. There, you can see it's not picking up that. So that one works. There, this. We'll put transport. Transport now. Pick up some There, and we wait. Both should appear. So you can you can see that you're looking only for off-road hatchback. Clear this. Only the off-road hatchback from here, not everything else. Let's get there inventory. There we go. There is quite a delay um, in this kicking in. So let's update into this one. Let's put three there. There we go. So we actually need hmm. that's not very happy, is it? Anyway, uh, this shows you can create a, a, a new class specifically for what you're looking for. But anyway, uh, back to what we were doing. Uh, we were uh, we were working on drag and drop, drag and drop, uh, ESP drag and drop, if you like. Uh, we'll 
clear this, we toggle this off, clear it again, toggle it on. So, uh, we assume that some hapless person has decided to drive his car or the water. Is this uh, going to actually... Come on, you can do it. Survive. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we go into free cam mode and we move around like this. Okay? So we bring up ESP. We drag it down. Now, hold down left control, left click, and you'll see it's highlighted. We can now drag the item onto land, and there we go. We can now drag the item. There, so let's put it next to us up on the back. Click. It will always come to the map surface, hopefully. Uh, anyway, uh, the gentleman uh, who drove his car haplessly into the uh, water has lost his car, but by using the drag, we can actually come here and access the inventory. I was able to access my inventory. Um, and we can uh, remove all the stuff that was in the car. You have to go get himself a new car. But at least he, we can get his stuff back. This works for gravestones too. If there is a person died in the water, you can drag them up here. Um, done. Now, also, in the past, there was, they, we used to be able to use an option. There, this was all. That do a deleted radius and that had a radio that was limit of 300 yeah, that. Hmm. that was a limit of 300 you couldn't go you couldn't delete radius more than that however we can now do that we can actually uh, delete a larger radius purely by this brace Press the space bar, we can right click, uh, drag right, uh, hold down the right mouse button to drag across the screen. Anything that is is showing up with a tag uh, using the ESP will be selected. So let's put um, our transport in, transport toggle. This has no radius limit. This is taking a very long time. Hmm. Takes a very long time. Anyway, okay, so we've got uh, these two items. We hold down the right mouse button, drag across the screen, and they're selected. Now, we could do this going to free camera. We can Oh, look, there's a truck over there. So we can come over here as well. We can delete this as well. Now, if I select this, bring up the DA, select this, added. Or we can do that. The problem is that by doing this, we deselect the others. We can still do it if we hold down Control. Shift. Hold down Shift and uh, get those buttons mixed up. Hold down Shift and drag across those over there and that one there. So imagine this. There are two. Uh, uh, let's go into the scenario. There are two bases near each other and they're arguing. They're arguing with admin. Admin's kicked both these people offline. What you can do is hold down Shift, right click everything. Uh, let's do that. Just teleport here at the moment. There we go. You can see lots of stuff appeared there. So, teleport here again. Come on, you can do it. Let's clear this. There we go. 
Right, okay, so there's a base here and there's a base over there. Within, within range, you see. It, it's a bit tricky. But anyway, uh, assume there are two bases. Uh, one there in that building, one there in that building. You can literally, instead of just deleting a radius, now, just drag across everybody and delete everybody. You'll notice that this doesn't include players. So if there's a player in the area, they can't be deleted, right? Let's delete all. Try again. Delete all. Delete, yes. So, everything got deleted, except me. I hope. Nope, I'm still there, see? Still happy. So, that only affects objects, doesn't uh, affect people. So, you can delete to your heart's content using that, rather than the AOE. Use the drag, but uh, that's that's just the uh, that's just the ESP, um, and it's working now for objects that are below a certain depth. Just find something deeper. Let's uh, find a little area deeper. Make sure we can do it. So again, we'll uh, we'll create an off-road hatchback. I like off-road hatchbacks. We'll put it in the water. It's deep in there. Clear this. Let's clear this toggle. Clear it again. We'll save. Bring up transport. Transport only. Crypt kill. Now we're looking for something that's. Uh... There it is. Yep, it works perfectly fine. You can now get the stuff out the water again. Um, home. Close that. You're in. Uh, you're not moving about. Press space bar, get your arrow up, hold down control, left click on the object, drag it to shore. Take out what you want and we can now delete this. Uh, don't forget a damaged vehicle cannot be left alone. If it's ruined, sorry, if it's ruined, it can't be left alone. These have despawned. Um, and that would despawn if you walk 200 meters away. So that's the latest thing for ESP. Uh, that's working quite nicely.